So go ahead, Lauren, say your name, your age, and your profession. I will not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Laura Logan, I'm 36, and I'm a journalist. I'm very often in the Middle East. It seems invading countries with beaches is not currently in vogue. I think one of the, one of the hardest moments in my career was being on the border um, between Iraq and Jordan, on the Iraqi side of the border during the invasion. And, um, and I had to phone my, my family and say goodbye because I knew that there was a, I knew there was a good possibility I wasn't going to make it to Baghdad. I was scared that it would be the last time I ever spoke to the people I love. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Managing to keep long hair and still wear makeup in a war zone and, um, and show all the people who thought that that must mean you're stupid, that you're not. I would say my single greatest achievement is being able to say screw you to all the people who said that a woman like me couldn't make it in this business. What are three items you couldn't live without? Three items I couldn't live without? Oh, that's easy. Moisturizer, mascara, and food, I would say. My biggest hurdle to getting two stories initially was being a young woman. And that was the hardest thing possible, was overcoming the um, misogyny that governs this business. And the bullying, that subtle bullying that goes on that men do, um, and having your opinion never count as much as a man's opinion counts because you're young and female and what do you know? What do you think is going to happen in the Middle East in the next five years? It's all going to hell, no. <laughs> what do I think is going to happen in the Middle East in the next five years? Well, it's not just the Middle East that we should be looking at. I mean, Iraq clearly is an issue. Iran um, is perhaps an even bigger issue. I, in fact, I don't think we should be referring to it as the Iraq War anymore. I think it should be called the Iran War inside Iraq because that's what it's really come down to at this point. The people we're fighting most today are um, Iranian-backed, which means we really are at war with Iran already in a way. But beyond that, what's happening in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Asia is, um, is just going to become more and more important. I see that on the rise. And, and that will become, that will ultimately outstrip everything else. Okay. One more question. Are, do you think we're moving to a more or less violent world? More violent. I think we've made sure of that. We've created the most violent generation of jihadis and um, al-Qaeda terrorists that has ever existed. Thank you. On that happy note. <laughs> <laughs> You, are you done? You want to take a minute to think? Are you happy?